asking you to solve using the difference of two cubes. What we want to do is see what this is going to write, look like. So if I had a cubed minus um, b cubed, right? We you say, can this, of course, when you have two terms and I ask you to factor it, there's only a couple opportunities, Nicholas, that you have. It can be the sum and difference of cubes, or it can be the difference of two squares. That's all we've talked about so far. So we want to say, can I write this as a product uh, or the subtraction of two squares? Well, is 64 a square number? Yeah. Yes, it is. Is d to the sixth, can we write that as a square term? Yes, we can. Yeah, you can do um, d cubed, right? Or d to the third power. Is 343, is that a squared number? Yeah. Maybe. It's seven. Seven times seven is 343? <laughs> I'm talking about squared, right? So right now, squared, we can't write that. So we have a problem. And the same thing with e cubed, you can't write that as a squared term either. So we have a problem. This we can write as a squared, a difference of squares, but this one we cannot write as a squared term. So now let's look into difference of two cubes. Can we write this as a squared term? Well, let's take a look. a cubed equals 64 d to the sixth. And then can we do b cubed is equal to 343 e cubed. So can we write them as cubed numbers? Well, what we do, take the cube root. Yes, 64 cubed is 4. D cubed So therefore, a equals 4 d squared. Over here, you take the cube root. And as Sam mentioned, it's 7 e. So now I can say b and e are going to be 4 d squared is um, a, and b is going to be 7 e. Because if I cubed this form, Right? If I cube this, I'm going to get 64d to the 6. If I cube this, I get 343e cubed. Yes? Huh? If I cube this, I'd be e to the third power, which is right up there. OK, let me just go through. So now, so what is the formula of a cubed minus b cubed. Well, we have a special formula that we use for our difference of two cubes. And yep, minus b times a squared plus a times b plus b squared. So all we need to do, ladies and gentlemen, is when we're looking into factoring with, two, with the difference of two cubes, all we need to do is first determine, is it, can it be written as a difference of two cubes, which is yes. And then, what exactly is our formula that we're going to plug in? So since I now evaluated for a and b, what I'm going to simply do is just plug in those values. So we say a minus b. Well, now I say a is 4d squared minus b, which is 7e, times your a squared, which is make sure you put this in parentheses, plus a, which again is 4d squared, times b, which is 7e, plus 7e squared. Got to make sure that you put your a and b when you're squaring them, put them in parentheses. Now let's just simplify. 4d squared minus 7e. 4d squared squared is going to be uh, 16d to the fourth, plus 4d squared times 7e, I can multiply the 7 times 4, so I get 28d squared e. And then 7e squared is going to be a positive 49e squared. So that is your factored form. OK? And you'll have the formula that you just need to work in. The main important thing is figuring out if it's a difference of two squares or two cubes, and then applying which formula you need. Okay.